afternoon. It is home side Accra Hearts of Folk who are ready to dare the might of the Doma based team Adriana Stars Football Club. My name is Prince and I'm here with uh, Josa Okokwe. Of course, Accra Hearts of Folk who will be sporting their regular rainbow colors of the red, blue, and yellow. We'll be looking to continue with the good work they started in Brekum at the Golden City Park where they whitewashed Brekum Chelsea by three goals to nil. For Adriana Football Club, they were counting their blessings and they named them one by one after a pulsating goalless draw against their Accra opponents. That's Accra Lions. And so this afternoon promises 90 minutes of nothing but good football of course the fans of Accra Hearts of Oak are here to witness how the team performed creditably against their away opponents it will be the turn of the two captains to do us the honors of going through the toss Alex Boache the captain on the right is the uh, captain for Adriana and uh, it's Kofi Agbeshima who captains Accra Hearts of Oak the regular captain officials for the afternoon we've got professional referee Daniel Ni Ailae in the center, it will be supported by Ernest Akate and uh, Kofi Achiampong Robe. Juliet Apia is our fourth official. For the Ghana Premier League, away we go. As Ibiana kick starts the game, Alex watches first kick. And it's trapped beautifully by Michael Lampedu. So teams will take a while to settle. You would expect to see a very good combination between David Opong and Afrani and uh, his co-partner in central defense and captain Kofi Agbeshima Fatofo to claw back some pride and dignity. Dennis Nkrumah Kosa gives the ball away and Adriana have the first opportunity. Is he going to defend a shot on target? He moves into the 18-yard box. He tries to send it across for defending. And there they go forward yet again. It's another searching ball forward. Kelvin has been busy in this first few moments of the game. It's a rebound from the goalkeeper. And that has gone out. That was tight. Very tight. It's the heart of defense again. Caught napping. That was very, very close. In Ketia failing to deal with the initial shot. Who just pounces on it, but he does so well, Frank Ousu. This time, just got it right. Powers that one. It was Nketiah who put his body be behind. He needs the space, tries to dribble through two players. He's been held in check. And the flag stays down as Kelvin tears away. It's a chance for Adriana. Easily rolls into the goal. But for the first goal of the afternoon, Kelvin has finally found the scoring boots. Spoke about that being a problem this afternoon for Hearts of Oak. The lethargic nature by way they move the ball. It looks so casual for me. And Adriana, they deserve this lead. They've really worked so hard for it. And it's just a pass into the half of Hearts of Oak. And just look at the defenders trying to play catch up over there. But Kelvin Obing is miles away. Just worlds apart from the last Hearts of Oak defender. Had little pressure on him. No one breathing down his neck. And all he had to do was just slot that one passing Ketia. But what about that for a pass over the top of the defense? And just look at Basima. No way he was going to catch Kelvin Obey. Just picks his spot. And that was an easy finish. The Akron Hearts of Oak goalkeeper, Kwesi in Ketia. Advantage. Big boots for a clearance out. He's onside. Kofi Akbeshima goes for the chase at this time around. Oh, he's been turning that side out. Ball dropped in front of the goal line but did not cross the line. Oh, how unlucky can you be? Prior to that, they lost 0-1 against Gold Stars. A shot in final target. The idea was good from Linda Ntange. And then uh, before that loss to Gold Stars at home, they had traveled to Samra Boy and they had lost to the Timber Giants, Summer Tex 1996. That was a good turn. That was a good hit. But maybe Nusa had his finger. Well, and they keep their composure as well. Yes, Alex watch it. It's a long ball. Again, flag stays down. Kelvin has an opportunity. Side netting. And again. 
the telepathy in defense of Accra Hatsoko definitely absent today. Struggling, struggling to do with the pace of Kelvin Obey. And whenever the ball has been flighted over the, the top of the defense. Good fighting spirit for Accra Hatsoko through the middle now. Hamza has an opportunity. Blasted into the air. Again, that's the closest the Phobians have come to scoring in this game. Just one good ball over the top to find Hamza. He had the pace to get to the end of that one. Find support. He's Akuka. Salifu. Lovely. Lovely play from Salifu Ibrahim. He noticed that Hamza was poking his head out of that defensive uh, grip. And Hamza does so well to stay online. It was a ball straight to the head of Hamza. There's a short one, Bright Angel gets hold of it. Into the 18 yard box. Ooh. They stood ball watching. You could have spelled doom if Chipsa had reacted There's a quick corner. positively. Corner taking it. The in swinger from Bright Angel. Just look at that quickly taking. Angel wasting no time at all to the far post. And Chipsa approached by the Phobians but it still has not yielded the results that they want. Yes, Chipsa. Sent in the cross right the header is on target. But Chipsa comes forward. Through the middle, Raymond lays up a pass. Gradually, they get into the 18-yard box. They're looking for an opportunity to drive. Twist and ten. Oh! The effort was good once again. Now as they come close here, Samza through the middle. It looks good. The pass is laid on in the final touch. Delaying of time from the Adriana players and so avoids that perceived injury. Player immediately got up on his feet. You see Falas and Chipsa. Iwa Masaudu makes probably the last save of the game as Daniel Ni Ayi Lai says it all over final whistle I'm looking at the reaction of the technical bench of Adriana and they are all hugging themselves Yawa Champong, Paul Tando they are all elated at the fact that they have stood tall weathered the storm and eventually picked up three points Final score from the Accra Sports Stadium. It's Hearts of Oak Nil, Adriana FC 1.